Hi, my name is Andrew Webb. I'm CFA's Engineering Manager. I'd like to talk to you about the new CFA Ultralight Tanker. The new vehicle is built on a Toyota Land Cruiser, an LC79 Workmate 4x4. It has a number of new and, and unique features to it that's different from the previous one. The engine is a 4.5 litre turbocharged diesel, it's a V8. The main pump, the water pump at the back, is a, a water-cooled centrifugal pump with a, an output of 500 litres a minute. That's a new and uh, exciting difference from the, the previous model, which was um, an air-cooled unit. It makes it uh, quieter. The water tank is the same volume, 550 litres as previously. We have another new feature fitted to this vehicle, which is now standard on our tankers, the pre-connected suction hose, which is common to all of our vehicles. The stowage gear has also been upgraded in line with a lot of the feedback and through the consultation that we undertook with the working group prior to the, the development of this vehicle. The locker with the chainsaw in it has a, um, a drop-down door that folds down horizontally. It has a rubber lining on the inside so that you can use it as a workbench if you need to do any maintenance on the chainsaw, for example. Below the PPC locker there is also the stowage for Class A foam and at the rear on the uh, passenger side above the tray there is a hydrant and there are two fire lighters. There is a new foam system fitted to this, this vehicle. We previously had a Quenchmaster foam fitted. We now have a Dositron system fitted which is another new feature. The back end of the, the vehicle, all of the plumbing has been rearranged to accommodate the pre-connected suction hose. You'll see that the live reel has been relocated from the, uh, the driver's side to the passenger side. That still has three quarter inch hose on it and it's 30 metres in, in length. It is a manual rewind hose reel. It has a five speed manual transmission with a two speed transfer case. There are some upgraded electrics with the appliance. Uh, you'll see inside the cabin there is a battery isolator now, which is a standard feature on all of our trucks. We also have upgraded LED lighting all around the vehicle. And there is also a rear view camera that's mounted to the vehicle as well with an in-cabin dash display, which is part of the, the multimedia unit.